Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Batman classic TV series, Batmobile from Mattel. That's right, one of the coolest things about the fact that we're getting an action figure line based on the 1960s Batman series is that Mattel is giving us a six inch scale Batmobile that our six inch figures can actually sit inside of. That is so cool, and I know it's something that we've wanted to see for stuff like our DC Universe Classics line, and it'd be just awesome to have a six inch scale Batmobile. So we're finally getting one, and we're gonna check it out today to see how it measures up. Now the Batmobile comes inside of window box packaging, so it fully showcases the vehicle within the box there. We've got some very cool, bright, and colorful artwork all over the box, and what's really neat is how on both of the sides of the box there, we've got that great uh, comic book looking Batman and Robin driving in the Batmobile, very similar to what we see in the opening credit scene of the old 1960s Batman TV series. And then the back of the box shows off even more of that really cool artwork, gives you a little uh, explanation of Batman and the Batmobile, and shows off all of the different villains that we're also going to be seeing in this new TV series toy line. Another thing that's really cool about the packaging is once you pull the insert out of the box there, uh, you get a closer look at the insert that's actually holding the Batmobile and you can see that it's the inside of the Batcave. So it's a pretty neat looking box all the way around. All right, so now that we've got our Batmobile out of the box, let's take a look at it. Let's see how this thing measures up. We'll start with those measurements. It's about 18 inches long altogether, so it's very cool, scaled for your six inch figures. Now, first thing I gotta talk about, because as soon as I pulled out of the box, this is the first thing I thought. This thing is really lightweight. Like, it's seriously just like this large hunk of hollow, lightweight plastic. And to be perfectly honest, I was a little disappointed with that immediately from pulling it out of the box. Now, I will say, it looks awesome. It's got a great look to it. But why is it so like lightweight and really hollow feeling? I mean, it feels like a little kid's toy. The reason I got a nitpick on that is the box specifically says adult collector. And I paid $50 for this. Kind of feels like there should be a little more weight to it. Maybe a little bit of die cast metal. Just, I don't know, just something more. But it's definitely a very lightweight toy feeling Batmobile. So I wanted to get that out of the way first. Now, let's go and look at the aesthetics of it. Cause like I said, it is still a really nice looking vehicle. It's done all in this really nice glossy black finish. That's the way the plastic is on there. And it's got the beautiful red trim going all the way around the Batmobile itself, up on the fins coming off the back there. We've got great red bat emblems on the sides of the cars there. And there's just lots of really nice details on here. So it's detailed really nicely to look how it appeared in the classic TV series. You notice on the tires there, in the middle of the hubcaps, we got nice red bat logos right in the center there. You see the headlights and everything on the front of the car are very, very cool looking. You got the cool little gold spinny hood ornament type thing up here at the top. And then on the back of the car, we got the little piping sticking out from the back. We got our turbines to speed back here. Even got the little Gotham City license plate on there. So lots of great styling and good little details worked in. And even cooler is looking at all the details that are in the driver's seat and the passenger seat inside the car. That's where there's a lot of cool stuff going on. So we do have nice windshields both on the front and the back. You got the cool little red light kind of sitting at the top there, the little siren light on there. Uh, you can see there is nice little stickers uh, kind of already tampoed on there. You got the uh, emergency bat turn lever <laughs> is printed right there on the inside. And you can look down and kind of see all the cool little details that are inside. We've got a nice big red bat phone, which is fantastic. Can't have the Batmobile without the bat phone in there. You can see all the little levers and everything. Lots of little buttons. We got a little turning steering wheel. Of course, the turning steering wheel doesn't actually move the tires or anything, but it does turn. Uh, you can see little seat belts on the seats that have the little red bat emblem on there. And we even have the bat fire extinguisher sitting in the back there that's got the little bat logo on there. Uh, lots of cool little stuff going on. Now, all the little pieces in there, very soft rubber. You can see, uh, like the stick shift and everything while I'm touching on there. It's very, very soft and rubbery. Everything on the inside is made of that really soft, really flexible uh, rubbery plastic for some reason. So, um, the bat phone. Um, the only thing that's really not is the steering wheel, but all these other little levers and everything sticking up, very soft, very gummy. 
Now, looking at the bottom of the Batmobile, you'll notice that there's really not a lot of detailing. Uh, like I said, this is all just one kind of solid piece of plastic, and you can see that just looking at the bottom there. Uh, some of the little red bits you see sticking off the bottom, those are just the uh, levers inside. That's just the bottom of them sticking through. Um, otherwise, we've really got nothing else here. It's just hollow, and there's just some slight detailing, but no paintwork or anything like that. Another thing I found kind of disappointing the doors do not open on this. There's no doors. Um, you've got the little levers, four doors and everything, but they, this is all just solid. It's a solid sculpt, so no doors opening or anything like that. Now, it is open on the top, which means we can set our figures inside there, so let me go ahead and show you how that works. We'll go ahead and get our Batman and Robin out. Uh, I did point out just a minute ago that there are little seat belts in there, so you are going to want to pull those seat belts up, of course. Uh, and it's good that Batman and Robin do have the uh, the cloth capes because that's going to allow them to sit on the inside there. So you kind of push them down, and then it's pretty easy just to kind of get that little seat belt worked over, and you can get them strapped in. It's uh, not too bad there. And Batman actually can hold onto the steering wheel on the Batmobile, so that's really nice. Get our Robin in here. It's a, it's a bit of a pain just to kind of work them all in there, but I mean, really, it's not so bad. I'm just, I'm doing this on camera here, so of course I'm going to have more problems, but there you go. Well, there's our Batman and Robin sitting inside the Batmobile, and you can see, I mean, it's, it's a great scale. They look really good on the inside, and of course the wheels do roll. It's got a really nice roll to it, so if you want to kind of roll it around, you can do that, and turbines to speed. Let's go, Batman. We can send Batman off to fight the crime in Gotham City. So that's definitely cool. And it, it does make for a great display piece when you've got Batman and Robin sitting on the inside. Now, I know a question you guys have. Can any other action figures fit on the inside of this? How does this measure up with different versions of Batman that we've seen from previous Mattel lines? Let me show you. It's the first thing I thought of too, because like I mentioned in the beginning, it's just a cool idea to have a Batmobile for a six inch scale figures. It's something that I know I've wanted since the beginning of the DC Universe Classics line. So I got a DC Universe Classics New 52 Batman here. I got a Movie Masters Batman. Are they going to fit inside this? Unfortunately, the answer is nope. And the biggest problem is because these guys have the more rigid plastic capes. They don't have the soft capes. And as much as you want to try to squeeze them in there, it's just not going to work, unfortunately. Movie Masters gets further in than DC Universe Classics Batman does, but you can see you really can't get them in there. Now, the other thing is these guys are a lot bigger and bulkier than this Batman, too. Uh, the 60s Batman, much skinnier, much leaner. He's a lot easier to squeeze into the seats. So, unfortunately... This particular Batmobile is probably not going to house your DC Universe Classics figures. You might be able to get some of the skinnier ones in there, especially if they don't have capes, but you're not going to be able to put any of the other Batman figures in there, unfortunately. So, that's pretty much it, guys. There's a look at the classic TV series 60s Batmobile from Mattel. Now, I kind of have a love-hate relationship going on with this thing. I think it looks great. I think it's awesome that we've got a Batmobile for our six inch action figures, and it's a really nice display piece, especially with our Batman and our Robin sitting inside of it. But I'm a little let down that this is supposed to be a, an adult collectible. This thing was $50, and it's just made of this really kind of cheap feeling, really lightweight plastic, like it's meant to be a kid's toy, like it's meant to be played with. It feels like this should have been around $20, maybe $30, but the fact that I spent $50 on it, I was hoping for something a little bit more. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I fully want you guys to make your own decision on this, but maybe my video will help you determine. This was available first at San Diego Comic-Con, but it's supposed to be showing up soon at Toys R Us store, so happy hunting, and until next time.